Hey everybody, it's me, Super Paul Games. If you look in the upper right, you can see we're finally within our own personal domain limit, 7 out of 7. We were one over last time because we had this temple, so I just gave it to this guy just now, right before I hit the record button. I should have done it after I hit the record button, didn't matter. Right now we're in the middle of a war to try and take this one little territory from Lithuania. The goal being, then we can hopefully usurp the high chiefdom of this area to try and help us get us to or under our vassal limit number. Um, we'll take a quick look around. Uh, there's a rebellion here in the Holy Roman Empire. Uh, Italy's put down their rebellion, and they're getting more of a foothold here in Spain. Most interesting. Galatia has a rebellion here in southern England. It's interesting. Ooh, Jorvik. They took a chunk out of Scotland. Didn't they used to have that long ago? I thought they did. Most of my noises right there were... <laughs> and Andalusia is still slowly being eaten away by the Catholic nations. The Abbasids have a major revolt going on for independence. I hope the revolt wins. As long as the Abbasids are weaker, we're a little stronger. I wish that would happen to the Byzantines too. Sooner or later the Crusades will happen, which will threaten the Byzantines. They might actually threaten us too. I don't know if we have any holy, ter holy territory that the Christians would want. If we do... We might find ourselves fighting all of Christendom. Alright, we are about to... I don't know if we're about to, but we're currently sieging there. That's very important. Let's merge these troops here. I wonder if we need to raise any more troops for down there. How many troops can you get me, bro? 115. Bring them up and send them in. Now this is our retinue up here. These are vassal armies down there. I don't know where that guy's going. Uh, you dudes, march the long way around just in case. Oh, apparently, we don't have enough troops here to siege here. Victory! My emperor, I'm pleased to report the majority of Zirion is converted to the Tangri faith. I must find where that is. We've had a long-standing goal. Make it, it so most all of our... Oops. Oh, that's way out in old Tangri territory. Well, there's only one heretic area left. That's good news. Very excellent news. I was going to say, long-standing goal of making all of our territory Tangri. We're close, but we're not quite there yet. Um, we're going to march these guys up here. Will they be able to siege there? No. They will once these guys get there. Come on, let's hurry up and win this here. Victory! Victory! Oh, we took both of these at the same time. Most interesting. Guess we'll move those guys back there. There's got to be some more troops we can raise around here and get them to the front. No, not really close by. There are more troops, but they're not nearby. We'll move our retinue down here. Oh, interesting. You guys want to come fight us? Sure. We'll meet you out here on the field of battle. Oh, are you going to the right place? No, you're going to the wrong place. Once these guys get in here, we can start sieging this place. We take our little crappy village. Don't tell them I said it was crappy. It is crap Sylvania, after all. <laughs> Come on, Lithuania. Just surrender. Even though I kind of butchered your name right there. Are you serious? Oh, we are... We are short by, like, ten dudes. Um... Oh, no. I wanted to attack those troops. I guess we'll move these guys north. Yeah, we'll retake that. Time being on our side, we probably ought to raise a few more vassals. You sent troops. You got a bunch of troops, right, bro? No. But you'll send them anyway. This is where I really, really miss... There, that's the guy that has a bunch of troops. I really miss having higher crown authority. Um, where are you guys all going? March them across the river to start sieging... 
Sieging in the north, not seizing. The feuding between High Chief Balin the Usurper, which is that guy way out in the east in Turkestan, and Chief Bazbuga of Kangli, which is in his own domain, but he reports directly to us. Hmm, can no longer be ignored. As your vassals have both brought their grievances against you, each uh, uh, want you to join the other in helping them. Uh, I don't know. What we might do, what is this territory here? Oh, they're fighting each other. It is all part of the Duchy of Turkestan. He reports directly to us. This guy um, is the High Chief of Turkestan. You know what? I hate to do it, but I'm going to agree with the High Chief. And then what we're also going to do is we're going to take this territory here. We're going to tell this guy you don't report to me anymore. Look, Kangly dude, I like you, but I don't have time to worry about what's over there. So we're going to transfer your allegiance to the... Um... Oh, where the fuck is Kangly? Am I going to have to wait to do this? No, I want... I want this knobber son. This guy, Chief Boozabooga. I want to transfer him to you. Sometimes the game is weird about that. Yeah, I probably have to like reload to do it. Probably gonna forget. That would make things so much easier for getting us within our proper limits. Oh well. The High Chief will probably steal that land from him anyway, because the Crown Authority is... Oh, the wrong way. Did we just win a battle here while we were dealing with the East? I think so. Oh, but we can't siege that either. Is there anywhere this army can siege? Right there. A peasant... Accused of murder is dragged before your court. His wife and children were found butchered in the small hut they call home, and he was standing nearby covered in their blood. Despite this damning evidence, the man continues to profess his innocence. Um, you should go into the dungeon. Can't murder your family. That's not cool, bro. I know it might seem cool, but it's not. Sorry. Murder's not cool. Unless the king orders it, then it's all right. Right, our retinue is going to go attack the Lithuanian army. Come on, we want to take this territory too. Because the nice thing is we can grow the empire at the same time we can hopefully lower the vassal limit by one. Victory! Alright, we are at 96% war score already. That was a huge victory for us. My liege, my mission to Damascus has so far been a success. Great! The Caliph loves us! He's like, dude, you're so rad! We should hang out and do rad things sometimes! I'll make some... pork chops. No, that's not rad! <laughs> oh, sorry, bro, forgot. Uh, merge them. Poor Lithuania getting its butt stomped again. You are fighting against King Kitten the Wise. Oh, that is our brother. And Chief Balin. Maybe that's why I can't transfer the, the uh, vassalage. Because they're fighting. Maybe that's what it is. I bet it is. Well, the Duke is going to solve that problem himself. That might lower our vassal limit. Our vassal limit went down by one automatically, too, so I think someone else took one of our vassals for themselves. Which I'm not terribly concerned about. I'm more worried about people getting multiple duchies and being a threat to the crown. Man, I so want to raise that crown authority, but it's not happening. 99% war score. We're about to take this area. Victory! That's it. Defeat! Whatever. Well, sorry, Lithuania. Emperor Hermes, the Sword of Tangri. Uh, that's his nickname? 
Man, he's 17 and he's got a badass nickname. Has usurped the title Temple of whatever. It's not the Temple of whatever. But let us give the temple to somebody else. A good Tengri, holy man. He's like, thank you, sir. Good job, say shaman. Grr, grr, grr. Um, and let us give this area to one of our loyal men who wants uh, track eye. See, we gave one to a Drizzlov before. What about this guy? He's got a cool mustache. Is your are you Hieronymer? No, your brother's going to probably. Wait, who? Who the hell's going to inherit that? Your dad's stuff. Oh, I clicked on the wrong thing. Fuck it. How about Miroslav? No. Well, is Miroslav going to inherit that? No. He's got too many brothers. That's perfect. All right, Miroslav. I shall grant you that area. We should make him happy. And then we might be able to usurp the high, ch high chief him. We can. That's going to cost us 108 gold. I don't like giving up the money. But we want to do that for bureaucratic reasons, now that we have the duchy there. Let me get rid of that. We're going to give it to the kid here. We will grant you the duchy of Lithuania. It's funny, the king of Lithuania, Lithuania doesn't even own it anymore, and all the lower titles. So if I did it right, I believe, yep, this guy and this guy, they both report to the kid, Duke. Or a high chief, I should say. Now we're only one over our vassal size limit. That is awesome. In fact, we can take care of that right now. Let's create the Duchy of Mazovia. I know nothing's more exciting than bureaucracy. <laughs> and uh, let's give it to this guy. He's a family member, a kinsman. And there we are. We are at the vassal limit. And we can appoint someone new as a commander. I don't care who. This guy. He seems cool. No, this guy, he wants to be a marshal. Rodu! I love your pasta. He's like, that's ragu. Whatever. Man, look at that. The Lithuanian Empire now getting all split up. Um, let's move our retinue further into our country. Not bad at all, though. And we have some healthy monthly balance coming in. Well, what is this? To the heroic Emperor Hermes. This is from Sultan Timturas of Sarko. He has been a loyal ally. When the Holy Roman Empire attacked us, um, I didn't realize he was related to us. When the Holy Roman Empire attacked us, Sarko came to our defense. When the Byzantine Empire came and attacked us, Sarko came to our defense. To the heroic Emperor Hermes, peace be with you. We request that you honor your obligation to answer this call to the arms against Count Arsene of Volga. Of Lower Volga. Who the hell is that? Um. Oh, that guy? That owns this one area that you're going to beat? Yeah, I mean, I was going to say yes. I was going to say yes no matter who was attacking him. Even if it was the Byzantines, because he was a great ally. But yeah. We'll be your allies in that war. In fact, I don't think he's going to need our help, though. I mean, look, he's got a 1,000 troops there. Um, the guy he's fighting has got, like, 167. In fact, he's got another 1,000 coming this way. I think he just needed moral support from us. We're like, yeah, you got it, dude. Uh, let's send our vassal troops home. They'll be happy to go home. Oh, we can actually expand our retinue. Let us do that. Let's send the retinue back to the capital. Bertolin Dragoslavs claims he would be a better diviner than Shaman Jerolem. Let's see, well, the Shaman has a 15. What do you have? A 17? But you hate us. Because you're my rival. Are you the asshole who took that? No. Fuck you. Go fuck yourself. You stole my pencil or whatever when I was a kid. You get nothing. Alright, let's expand the retinue. Um, what do we need? Well, we could probably get some more pikemen or heavy infantry. I really like heavy infantry. Oh, we can't get that, though. Let's get the pikemen. 
I don't know if there are any other little wars we should prepare for. I would love to take that part from um, Lithuania, but we have a truce with them for a couple of years. Not really worth it. What about Bulgaria? Is there anything we could take from them? Oh, they still have a big army. That'd be a pretty major war. Though there is territory I want from them, to say the least. Oh, we can appoint a new title? Uh, we'll put in a new commander? Commander... Oh, King Sava Megia? Yes, yes, you will be a commander. If you die in a war, it solves problems. Um, that is the King of Megia. He is our nephew, I think? No, his father was related to us, though. He owns these two territories. Apparently his father died... My liege, please listen to me. The man you are so fond of is no more than a snake. My steward? I thought that was my uncle. No, I like him. He's good. I don't believe you. You're just jealous. He might be a snake, but whatever. I, get, I like him. Life's short. Enjoy the people you can. Well, though in real life, you shouldn't, you know, surround yourself with people like that who are snakes. Come on, let's put more and more money away. I want to build more cities. Cities and titties. That's what we want. We want it to be Emperor Hermes, the consensus builder. That or we can move the army way to the east. Man, there would be some easy areas to knock down over there. I say that, but these guys on the east always back each other up as allies. Man, that is tempting, though. We did just get under the vassal limit, though. I think it's a time to worry on... Focus on building internal strength for the future. Uh-oh, who died? Oh, our shaman did. Time for a new shaman. Did he get, like, killed by the, uh... What is it, Catholics here? Ruik of Lupidin, Peasant Revolt, has declared a Peasant Revolt on Emperor Hermes. Hmm. Damn peasants. Don't they know their place? Oh, he's being so revolting. Or Lepil. It's 90 dudes. Are you kidding me? Um, hi, Chief. That's it? It's your whole fucking army is 121 dudes? It's a joke. It's not a very funny one. All right, you guys merge here. There's got to be a high chief around that's got more. What about you, new kid high chief? Well, a lot of that is recently conquered land, relatively speaking. They're not going to... Oh, they are going to be able to siege it because there is one soldier there for our kinsman there, Cosma. Is he related to Ozma of Oz? My liege, my mission to Damascus has been a success. I have touched the Caliph in many naughty places and he likes you much. He touched me in all the naughty places. You used to let me touch you in the naughty places. Does he have concubines too? He does. No, oh, he has secondary wives. They can probably relate on that. Dude, I got a bunch of extra bitches too! Me too, man! Bitches forever! Alright, they got 90 guys moving out of there. We'll move you in. We will move you in. Let us merge you guys. When are you going to get there? The 29th. I actually want the bigger army to get there first. Oh, we might as well move everybody there. Oh, man, people keep dying. What the hell? All right, we need a new commander. Uh, well, we'll put this guy in. He's got a 22 marshal. That's pretty good. Uh, what new position? Chancellor. Is there anybody that hates us we can get rid of? Dominic, you want to be chancellor, right? You love the Abbasids, right? Well, why don't you go kiss up to them? See, the way I look at it is... Either he's going to go get killed, 
by the, um, you know, the Caliph? Or hopefully he does a good job. Damn it, how is she failing, man? Well, he did take that area there. Don't have to worry about that anymore. I don't like the way he's accumulating power. Uh, our allies here, Zarkul. Zarkul are putting down these bastards. About to join our retinue units. Soon we will have retaken the tribal region. And then we will go after these bastards. Come on, take the tribal region. There we go. Come on, we're going to put an end to this revolt. That will probably be the last thing we do in this video. We've already crushed one national revolt. No. You're right, some high chief died. I'm sorry. Not too focused on that right now. The Cumin Lower Devogian War has ended. Great. That means our allies have won over here. Good for Sarkel. Come on, chase these bastards down. Fucking rebels. Soon our rebels will have all been ended. <laughs> See what I did? Ooh, we got 319 gold. That is nice. Um, I think we get one more stewardship point when we get to 500 because this goal is to amass wealth. We do. That obviously won't be in this episode. This rebellion's about to end, though. Suck it, rebellion. Suck it hard. Ooh, while we're at it. Okay, we're going to end the rebellion. Nice hat, dude. It's mine now. He's like, oh man, I wanted my hat back. Uh, we're going to banish this dipshit. We're going to banish this lady. We're going to banish this dude. It might have been a lady. I wasn't looking. So they can't do anything bad like that again. We will tell our troops to go home. And that will be the end of this episode. Um, I had a lot of fun. Man, so far... I'm going to jinx it here. Prince or Emperor Hermes is having a pretty good time. Still worried about this internal fighting, though. Nothing good will come of that. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. And I'll hopefully see you all in the next episode of CK2.